the most beneficent, the most possible. Today the dilemma of the talk is recombinant genetopology, which is also called as genetic adjustment. So considering this, <clears throat> I can let you to know uh, you have been taught through all the syllabus which has been taught to Professor Dr. Ishad Bukhari Zahba. That is the basic. Now we are going to start with the actual task which is the most modern science and this science will prevail in the global village and using this you will be able to get most modern medicine which is also designated as molecular medicine. So coming this, I would first of all let you to know where from this science comes and how does we would be able to reach up till here and in that respect all you know that a pretty good subject which is the most famous in the global village and now as you can see the demand of biochemistry is keep on increasing in a way that previously uh, it was taught of 50 marks in medical college now, totally this subject is being taught therein of 200 marks. Now, from here you can imagine how important this vital science is. Without that, you cannot go on any vital science which is prevailed in the medicine. Now, coming to this, you can see this is a very old field of biochemistry from where you can get whatsoever up to here you have been able to reach last and least in this biochemistry the enzyme more than that you cannot squeeze out from here so this enzyme is the all authority which governs everything which is going on inside the body and how does this play a crucial role now we have studied everything whatsoever is in this subject this subject in itself has been fully saturated. Nothing else could be drawn out of it. Now, then what happens and how does we could reach to the recombinant DNA technology? Another science came into the being in 1953 almost while I born. And this was the pretty good science that is designated as genetics. And previous experiments which has been done upon it in 1953 by Mendels we would have been able to know various colors, how does the color that has been given, where from the gene comes and how does those genes work and coming to the 1953 we have been able to know that gene is a unit of structure, is a unit of mutation, is a unit of heredity and or you can say it is a locus upon which uh, it is present, pair of contrasting characters which are <coughs> present on the chromosome, homologous chromosome. So now we have shoot up towards the ultimate goal of this genetics. What is that? What could be that one? That is, hybrid is always more stronger than its either parents. Now considering this, we have hybridized these two sciences that is the biochemistry plus genetics and we would have been able to know the most modern aspect of the science that is called as <coughs> Biochemical genetics. Now, this is the dilemma of the talk. How does we reach here and how does we could be able to deduce out of it the actual task what we are sharing here in, and that is a recombinant DNA technology. So, considering this biochemical genetics, I can give you an example when you hybridize two things and you, and you can see the mule is more stronger in every respect than the either parent. So similarly, when you hybridize these two sciences, these two sciences are more vulnerable. 
more explicit in a way that our demand demand is to get the most in molecular medicine. Similarly, from biochemical genetics, we will be able to get biotechnology. From this, we would be able to reach a larger science that is called as biotechnology. Single cell is a full factory. You can get everything out of it, whatsoever you like. But being a pharmacist, our domain is towards medicine. And we have to restrict ourselves towards pharmaceutical biotechnology. And to understand the pharmaceutical biotechnology, we have to reach towards the ultimate task, and that is the recombinated reality, which is branch of biotechnology. Biotechnology is a major word. Now, out of it, we have been specializing ourselves, particularly towards recombinant. In, in it, we recombate something, as I did talk to you, we combine one, two, three things, and we could be able to reduce out of it the ultimate goal which we want. Now, considering this, we should have to move towards recombinant DNA technology, which is also called as genetic engineering that genetically would play and how we would be able to play it we have got the four basic tools and these are as follows now look into it tools of free community and technology these are four major tools which are being utilized herein to, to identify it as genetic engineering. How we could engineeringly control it. Number one is the gene. Number two is the vector. And number three, transforming. And number four is the expression. Now, we will be discussing these one by one later on. Thank you.